that you, the citizens, are there and not just we, the lawyers, and that's really critical. I've been to Guantanamo about 25 times to see my clients. Five have been released because of the Supreme Court decision in 2008 that was just mentioned. If you haven't had a chance to read the Sunday New York Times op-ed by Mr. Bermudian, the lead plaintiff, go back and read it. It's a very moving account of how his life was destroyed for eight years in Guantanamo, but how he courageously is reconstructing it now. What I'll take back to Guantanamo on my next trip to our last client, Ben Saya Belkason, who will be there 10 years on January 20th, is an answer to the question he always asks me, which is, does anybody care? Does anybody notice what's happening to us? Why am I still here when so many others have gone? Why don't your courts speak out? What is it your Congress speak out? This is all very confusing. I don't understand how this could happen. And believe me, it's almost impossible to explain it to him. And I've been in this case since 2004. What I can take back to him now is the passion and commitment of all of you. And that means hope for him. And that's something tangible and meaningful. So I want to say on behalf of him and the other men in Guantanamo, thank you. Thank you so much for coming out today in this cold rain and showing that you care.